This video describes the calibration process with your Medmont E300 corneal topographer. If this is the first time that you've done a calibration with your Medmont, pull out the quick reference setup guide that came with your instrument. This is a helpful way to make this process as smooth and efficient as possible. Start by affixing the calibration device to your Medmont instrument. Take the flat metal plate and insert it up and into the forehead rest with the ball facing the instrument. Then with the small black screw, insert it through the hole and into the metal plate, securing it tightly. Again, if this is the first time that you've done a calibration, you'll need the USB key with the calibration file specific to your Medmont on it. Simply insert it into the USB port and wait for the software wizard to prompt you to browse to that port. If you've done a calibration on your Medmont before, the USB file is already loaded and the USB key will not be necessary. Next, go to your Medmont software and configure. Then go over to Calibrate Instrument. The software will ask if you have the older Lutron card. If you have a newer Medmont, it's most likely running the USB video converter box. Click Next. The software is then going to ask you to take five captures. Simply center the unit the same way you would as if you were capturing on a patient eye. Green crosshair over the center, red distance indicator over the green crosshair. When the instrument pops up with a captured, click Next and go back in and do it again. Click Next after each capture window pops up. Software is going to ask you to do this five independent times. And when it's complete, the software will tell you whether it's recommended to do a calibration, a quick calibration, a full calibration, or whether it's even necessary. In this case, the software is saying this instrument does not need a calibration. If this is the first time that you've done a calibration on your Medmont, do the full calibration. If you've done a calibration before and you're about to see a patient and need need to start capturing very quickly, use the quick calibration. A full calibration can take as long as an hour. So it's important to allow for enough time for that complete process to run. When the calibration is complete, the so software wizard will come up with a completed window here, telling you that your Medmon is ready to run. It's recommended to calibrate your Medmon every six months. However, if you move your instrument around on a table, a table on wheels, and may be jarred from time to time, then it's important to run the calibration possibly as frequently as every three months. So every three to six months is a pretty safe period of time. The, once you've gone through the calibration process, it tells you whether it's recommended or whether it it isn't. If you do have to do a calibration, you can always run the quick calibration option to get your instrument ready to use if a patient is waiting in the chair.